Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be working on the second problem from the Lead Code 75 study plan. And the question for today is called Find Pivot Index and it's the number 7 to 4 on Lead Code. Cool. Without further ado guys, let's move to the board. There we are. So number 7 to 4, Find Pivot Index. So the question states, given an array of integers, nums, calculate the pivot index of this array. And now we need to just take a breather and think about the pivot index. So what is that? According to the late code, the pivot index is the index where the sum of all numbers is strictly to the left of the index is equal to the sum of the numbers strictly to the index of right. Okay, so what does that mean? Okay, let's let's think that we are in the middle of an array and we have two apples from the one side and two apples of, uh, from the other side. That means that the middle of the array is the pivot index. But let's uh, think that more algorithmically and move to the test case where we've got right here our array. Let me grab the pen. And it's the array of nums. And as you can see, I have declared here three variables. So they are self-explanatory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a pointer which is going to be called current. And uh, I'm going to loop over this array one by one with step one. Okay, so uh, before doing all that thing, uh, we need to calculate the total sum of this array and uh, we can do that quickly if we loop all over that array that is going to be 28 sweet and i'm going to initialize left sum with zero and because the pointer called current is going to point on the first element of this array then the number of current is going to be one and now if we think that we loop over uh, that array, what we need to do is we need to have a certain condition where when that will be fulfilled we are going to return the, ind the pivot index. So let's think about that. If we have the total sum then we can say that the left sum is going to be equal to the total minus the current number minus the left sum and if that's fulfilled that means that we have found the right uh, sum equivalent sweet so let's work on that example uh, together if we uh, check that it's of course the first iteration false because the left sum is zero if we move this pointer one position to the right we are here and it's got and the nums is going to be seven. Hang on a second. I forgot to say that if that condition is not fulfilled, that means that we need to increase the value of the lens of the left sum by the value of the current number, and that is going to be one. Iteration number two, the current element is the number seven, and what to we need to do is to compare if 28 minus 7 minus 1 is equal to 1. Of course, that's false, so we move ahead, third iteration. And here we need to say that that's 8. Sweet. And now we need to compare whether 8 is equal to 28 minus 7 minus 8. And if we do that, then, uh, wait a moment, uh, it's going to be 20, 20, 13. That's false. So what we need to do is to increase the left sum uh, by the number 3. So it's going to be 11. Hopefully I haven't done any mistake with the maths here. And uh, that's the fourth iteration. The, po the current pointer points to the number six. And what we need to do, 
and that's going to be 17 minus 6 is equal 11 so sweet we have found our pivot index and this is going to be uh, the pointer current and the pointer current has the value 3 and we return 3 so before we move on I just uh, need to mention that we need to consider also the case that the pivot index is not part of this array so there is no pivot index and then is the situation where we need to return minus one and in order to achieve that we just need to return minus one outside of our loop sweet let's move to the LeetCode website and we can solve that exercise algorithmically so firstly as I said we need to create our total sum and in order to do that I'm going to use a uh, not a map actually a reduce method so we've got nums dot reduce we need our accumulator which is going to be a sum our number and I'm going to initialize the accumulator to zero and in order to calculate the sum we need to do that thing and of course because we have a reduce method we need to return the sum sweet of course there are other ways to calculate the sum guys don't judge <laughs> and here I'm going to initialize our current the current pointer to the index 0 and after that I'm going to create a variable where we are going to, show, to store the left sum super now we need to loop over the given array the array of nums. So I'm going to create a while loop and I'm gonna say pause less than or equal nums.length minus one. And we say that here we need to use that if statement and when that if statement has been fulfilled we should return the not the pause the current pointer. So if the left sum is equal to uh, the total sum something is wrong with my variables today folks and total sum minus uh, left sum minus the nums of the current so when that condition is fulfilled we need to return the current pointer Otherwise, not actually otherwise, always we need to increase the value of the left sum. And in order to do that, we are going to say left sum nums of current. And we need to increase also the value of the current, so that's going to be incremented because that's our pointer. And outside of that loop, I'm going to return minus 1, which is the case where we haven't found the pivot index. Or oh, aka, there is no pivot index. Super. Let's run that. Hope I have messed up all the variable names. And that's wrong. Alright. What is wrong here? Let me debug that live. Okay, so element, plus, plus, sum, sweet, current, left sum. Current less than or equal left to left sum. Of course, <laughs> that's not an assignable. Super. And if we submit that, happy enough. Cool. That's all for today, guys. If you like this video, give that a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, it's gonna be super helpful if you do. Thank you very much. I'm going to move ahead and start working on the next video, which is going to be the first, uh, sorry, the third problem from the Lead Code 75. And I'm going to submit that tomorrow morning. Cheers. Thank you very much, guys. Can't see the next one.